Okay, people, we're playing Attic Madness 1, the ghost of Maple Creek, and we have stuff. Demonic symbols, jack handle, car keys, chainsaw chain, toy soldier, scraper, and matches, and we're gonna rummage through our own little trunk. I don't know why we have all this stuff here, but sure! Bullets. Right there, where I have my cursor. Good job. We got ourselves some oil. Now next is Lonely House. Which means going through this. Whatever mouse is that makes that much sound, please stop. Is that a pirate doll? Nice. Lug wrench. Then we go this way, and everything at the farm has stuff to do. Starting here. Okay, so it's just like hidden object scenes have now. Wild hidden object scenes have spawned everywhere. I almost read father feather and steering wheel. All the cover now. There we go. We're done in there. Just a bunch of novelty. Why is nothing clickable? Come on. Come on. We're clickable, but like nothing is correct. <sighs> Log bolts. Okay. Letter M. Frame and brush. 
Oh, and the boomerang. Wow, there's so much stuff left. I feel like I can't find anything. There's a boomerang. That's the frame at the same place, in the same place. So where is this lug bolt? Honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Completely. first anyways. only had three, but sure. See, the tank is empty. That is not how you fill a tank of gas, but sure. I guess. actually go to the ruins first. Lane. Oh, for the area yeah, yeah. here. Apparently, I need this. Now it's the bridge, but we'll get the car first. There's something about it. I can see the car over there. I have right to, to the guest this tree. Ah. Okay, we were getting here anyway, so... Take the car, Kate, and drive the two of you away from Maple Creek as fast as you can. Don't stop until you reach the city. <laughs> then pull over and find a phone. Call the police and tell them who you are. Won't you come with us, Detective? There's a serial killer on the loose here. I can't let him escape. Tell the police I said to send reinforcements pronto. Thank you, Detective. You've saved our lives. Detective, Indeed. I found this in the church. I thought you might need it. Good luck. Uh, yes, I do. I mean, I don't know why you would think so, but I do need it. Chevrolet. Pretty sure I know what this is for. Just need to find the rest of them. The church, the chapel, or the boathouse by the lake. They must be hidden somewhere there. They have to. Uh, 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 I finally uh, managed to get them out of here. The sooner they can contact the police, the sooner they'll be safe and sound. The police reinforcement should be here soon. In the meantime, there's one more thing I must do. Find a murderer, don't let him escape. Oh, wait a minute, I need a map. Uh, tomb and crypt. Uh, 
All the music notes. I feel like I've clicked them like three times before when we've been here, so. Morse code. Horns and a chalice. There we go, no hints. Oh yeah. Demonic symbol. This dude is just gonna stand here forever. That's. Nas, I guess. Can do whatever he wants. left. Strange runes. Gay's boyfriend gave me an artifact he found in the church. Its shape is similar to a marking near the runes on the rock, which I don't know about yet. Unfortunately, this is but one of several artifacts. The others must be in the preacher's lairs. Now that I've collected all artifacts, how can I activate the runes? I mean, if we actually knew anything about the fact that these things existed, then maybe. Magic journal. But yeah, magic journal is fun. No. Oh. So random. I understand I have to look here, but oh, okay. Remembered as the pattern of how to move, not the individual. Um when I touch the runes, an entrance to some underground chamber opens. Something tells me this is where the story shall end. Well, I mean, there are two games left in the series, so I'm not sure about end, but more like it will kind of start here. For real. A uh, blood and a cut rope cut into pieces. It reminds me of something, but I can't fully recall. Oh, great. Some dry wood in the basin. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. <coughs> I wonder if the preacher's here. Scare us to death. I remember now. You've gone too far, detective. 
You want to know what happened to them? Looks like you'll learn the hard way. Silenced it before I could drain my puppets and fully revive. My congratulations. I'm helpless. Is it true? Did you murder all those women? Why? Who are you? I did. But the who and why are of no consequence to you. You'd neither believe nor understand. It doesn't matter. You'll do no harm to anyone anymore. What's behind that door? You know perfectly well, Detective. But why not indulge your curiosity? Hmm? I don't think that's going to be a good idea, but sure. Uh, Mr. Maple Creek 3. I remember now we were here together, realizing the threat of my inquiry. He captured me and planned to murder me like all his victims. However, I managed to break free and escape. And now we're here, we're down here again, but this time I have the upper hand. Faced with defeat, he admitted his, he admitted his vile deeds. Uh, how many women has he murdered? Why? He'll answer before the court. Now I only have to wait for the reinforcements. Shane, this rust eaten by time can't be too secure. Oh, great, let's just- You'd better take a look around before your incompetent backup arrives. Backup is back up for a reason. To the ritual hall. Great. How many lives have been lost on this altar of evil? I'll do whatever it takes to destroy it, if that means no one else is murdered here. This is it, the ritual altar, just like the one in the drawing. This place itself is evil, I can sense it. There's more than enough evidence to convict the preacher and something tells me the only way to ensure no one else ever murdered here is to destroy this altar. Painting in the chamber show the demonic clapper here. It's too high? What do you mean it's too high? Oh, you want me to go back? Yes. Thank you, detective. I knew you could solve it. Now, it's high time I close this case. I've been waiting for this moment for 30 years. Wait. I know who you are and what he has done, but he must be brought to trial. No, you have no idea who he is what he is. He must be stopped once and for all. I'll kill him right here, right now. He'll suffer the same fate as his victims. Then you'll be no better than him. Think of Emily. Is this what she would have you do? Don't you dare speak her name. You can't stop me, detective. Okay, bye. I guess. That's, that'll be it for this episode. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Hamilton's plan. Uh, it's all about revenge. Hamilton helped me only to get access to the preacher to this place where the villain is now victim. And indeed, he's the one who stole the dagger. He wants to avenge Emily and the other victims by killing the preacher in the same manner that he murdered them. The villain deserves punishment, but not by Hamilton's own hand. Justice must be served by a court of law. I can't let Hamilton become a murderer. He'll spend the rest of his life in jail. It seems no argument can talk him out of it. I need to find a way to delay him before the reinforcements arrive. Are you just going 
to stand by and let him carve me up like a turkey. I mean, frankly, yes. But fine. I've waited too long for this. He will die today. What are you doing? Oh, you know. Just pulling this statue. There will be no more murders here. Detective, are you alright? We set out as soon as we got the call. Detective, you're not looking so good. What on earth happened here? I need to debrief you as soon as possible. Detective? Can you hear me? No. You've done well, detectives. Kate Burroughs is here, safe in our custody. Her boyfriend is recovering at the hospital, and Maple Creek is finally at peace. However, we could find neither hide nor hair of the criminal, and Hamilton disappeared into thin air, too. Thank you again, detective. I owe my life to you, but I'm afraid I'll never feel safe with the killer still on the loose. Trust me, Kate. He may have gone into hiding, but I haven't stopped hunting him. I never will. And that is it for at, for the main game of Adding Mad as One, The Ghosts of Maple Creek. And we have already played the second and third games on this channel, so... Kind of back- well, it's a little backwards because I ended up not playing this first, but... Now we have the entire series here. Well, the bonus game, but still. Um, so if you want to know what happens, then uh, go watch uh, Games 2 and uh, 3. Yeah. It will all be- it's all linked in the description. But we have the main ba the main game. We have the main game left. This was the bonus game. No, <laughs> we have the bonus game left. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, programmers. Wait, are we starting over now? We're starting over now, right? I feel like we're starting over now. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, that was the main game of Ending Madness to Ghost of Maple Creek, but this is the Collector's Edition, so we will continue in the next episode with the bonus game, whatever that is. So, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see ya!